Hey, hold on. How's it going, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. How's it going, my friends from Facebook? I, I get those too, man. I get those all the time. Uh, let's do a painting. I'm gonna be doing a painting here for you guys. Hope you are having an amazing day and staying well out there. Let's do this. Also, this painting is going live. This and other paintings will be going live today. Uh, many of them are already live on, on Instagram. I mean, not on Instagram, on, on eBay. And the auctions are starting at 99 cents. So, if you're interested in any of this work, this is the perfect time to go get it. Let's do this. I'm going to be doing a uh, roses or flowers. I don't know if they're going to be roses because I, I don't... I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but they're going to be some flowers. They might end up being roses. I play by ear. So I'm mixing some red and purple right now. Okay. Aloha. How's it going, Didi? Good to see you here. Hope everyone is doing great, really. I know that, that some people are, are having a hard time. Lots of people are having a very hard time. And some people are having a hard time in their own homes. Um, uh, they 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 want they want uh, they want to go. You know they want to leave, and, and perfectly understandable. So please stay safe. Take care of yourself during this quarantine time. Take care of your family. So look at this. from South Carolina. How's it going, Running? Good to see you here. Thank you so much. I hear South Carolina is beautiful. Super beautiful. The Carolinas. I've never been there. So I know I know a couple of friends who have lived there. I, I think a, a friend is from there. From, uh, is it Ra Raleigh? Is Raleigh? Is that in South or is that North Carolina? Raleigh. I think I'm confusing it with North Carolina. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, the style that I paint is, is very, very, very simple. It allows for... for uh, lots of movement and joy and play in it it's not it's not meant to um, it's not meant to make to mean much you know it's 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 not it's definitely not highly representational it's not realism it's it's expressionism but it's got this this little touch of realism in there just little little touches of realism um, and I think that that's what also makes it a little bit uh, more more acceptable from time to time. I tend I tend to get away with it from time to time. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And so I'm adding a little bit of pink, white, and pink, just kind of staying there. Uh, the darker areas that you see are purple. It's called di dioxin purple and, and fuchsia. And uh, very simple palette. Very minimalist approach, as you can see here. Every now and then I switch out the color, as you can see right here. You're going to start seeing I'm switching off to, to a yellow. And I'm going to switch off to a yellow over here, too. I'm going to well, might as well continue the yellow. But I don't want to overdo it because yellow screams at you. Uh, yellow is a, is, a, is a screamer. If yellow was a singer, it'd be a, I don't know, uh, uh, what do we call this? It would be a, a, uh, a metal, a metal singer, <laughs> a heavy metal singer. Yellow screams right at you. And so that's why I love to, to just kind of touch it a little bit. I also want to remind those of you out there who would like to learn how to paint in this style that I am releasing workshops already and uh, 
and they've been a hit. People want, people have been asking me for years, when are you going to uh, share how you paint your method? So I'm releasing my Trujillo method workshops, and uh, and they're going to be uh, they're going to be a lot of fun. Lots of people already signed signed up to them, and I can't wait to start sharing them with more of my friends here on Facebook and other uh, places in social media. How's it going, Rod? Good to see you here, my friend. What's happening? Look at this. Very, very cool. Very simple approach. I am going to be sharing and teaching how I approach painting, how I've been able to do this for over 20 years and, and, and essentially get away with it, you know, get get people to like it. Or maybe I don't, I'm not getting people to like it. Maybe people just just naturally like it and, and understand what I'm doing here. My style is very minimalist and it's I try to make it as rich as possible. As you can see, let me let me give you a little close up. I'm trying to make it as, as rich. The train in the background, man, I love that. The thickness of the paint, as you can see right there. And then we get those flowers, right? They, they start coming together. But distance is really what tells. You know, the whole thing about any sort of uh, abstract, expressionist, impressionistic type of work, the distance is really what locks it in. But here's the really cool part about painting. The viewer also helps finish the product. The viewer, the, when the viewer sees the painting, they finish it. There's, a, there's like a, a locking that happens because every, each, each viewer uh, has a different perspective. You know, and so you might be seeing something that I can't see that enriches the experience. Uh, and, 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 uh, and also other people might be seeing something that, that you're not seeing and it's enriching the experience and they're adding to it. That's another beautiful form of putting it also. Uh, the viewer adds to the painting because you're adding your own experiences, your own, your own uh, life, your understanding, your knowledge, your memories. It's adding to it. And so it makes it super cool and fun. So now I'm going to get a, a, a wider brush. This is, a, I believe it's a number 16 flat right here. And we're gonna start painting around it. Notice that I painted uh, the subject first. There's a reason why I like to do that, meaning, meaning the, 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 the roses, right? I leave the background last, almost always. There's a reason for that. There's this little thing called negative painting. Um, and, and I like to do it at the end uh, because you start cutting into the, into the actual subject here and you can remold it. You can mold it more and more. Now, I'll show you right now. It's better to sh it's better it's better to show you than to than to say it. Look, I'm gonna use black and blue, a mixture of black and blue, and then I'm gonna go in there. And it's almost like like painting clouds. You know, it's it's almost like happy little clouds. But this happened to be not clouds. This happened to be uh, some flowers. They, they kind of look like roses. I'm assuming they're roses. I don't know. Some of the viewers say, no, it's not roses. It might be this, it might be that, or it might be a mixture of roses. And, and that's that's what I'm talking about. It it enriches the painting, you know? It's no fun if Rembrandt painted something and only Rembrandt gets to decide what it is. It's a lot funner when, when 10 million other people get to say, well, maybe he meant this, maybe he meant that, or, or, or I see something different. And I believe that that's the power of painting. It's the power of any work of art. The fact that we all can, can pitch in and see something different. How do you sign up for the workshops? Just make sure to, make sure to send me a, a, a message here on, on Facebook. Make sure to uh, send me a private message or, or I can screen grab it from here. If you just, if you just uh, let me know right here and I'll send you I'm going to send you an email uh, to, uh, to sign you up. And uh, if, you, if I don't have your email yet, I'm going to send you just a, a, a direct link to sign you up and, and get you in there. These are going to be uh, 
fully instructional instructional videos. I'm going to be doing also some live ones because uh, people have been asking for live instructional videos where I show you my entire method using uh, everything that I do. You know, moving the camera to the palette, that way you can see what's going on and uh, and telling you when I'm going to change the brush, why I'm going to change the brush. Basically just spill my guts and give you everything of what I know about painting I'm going to be doing in each and one of these videos. I'm going to be sharing everything that I, I have uh, come to understand about painting over the past uh, 20, 20 something, almost 25 years now that I've been creating artwork. And so I've been a full-time artist for the past 10 years and and uh, people have been asking me for a long time, Jose, when are you going to start uh, teaching? When are you going to start sharing? I always used to think, man, those those who teach, you know that saying, right? Those who teach don't do. So I was always uh, hesitant. And, and, and really, it wasn't so much that. It was that I... I I was I was thinking to myself I'm too busy painting I can't I can't take time off to start teaching people and and so and so uh, more and more people have asked me and so I started carving out some time and so now it got it, it has me really excited because people want to learn not just how I paint but how I market how I sell my work uh, how I put together references uh, because the reference image, whether it's a drawing or a photograph or whatever it is, the study, the reference of where where uh, the ideas come from is extremely important. That's I I I would say that that's about that's about eighty ninety percent of the job of a painter finding or creating or crafting a really good reference. Is really what makes the artwork at the end of the day. And so people ask themselves, man, I can't, I can't seem to have any ideas or I can't seem to sell my work. And most of the time, it's because you haven't developed, um, you haven't developed how to, how to create references. Your references may be repetitive, they may, they may be monotonous, which is pretty much the same thing, uh, or, or just don't have that spark, that newness, you know, that, that life. And I think every artist has that. We just have to find it and, and develop it and start, you know, start going for it. Absolutely. I'm going to send I'm going to send each and every one of you a link uh, and, and the date when the class is going to be. We're, we're, we're looking to see if we can start one tomorrow, but but uh, we we might we might uh, stretch a little bit. That. more people have been wanting to join in and so this is go we're going to be doing different classes some of the classes are going to be beginner classes some of the classes are going to be a little bit more more intricate uh more advanced uh and it's going to be everything from mixing color uh my personal color theory uh how i approach portraits how i approach florals and on and on we're going to be doing oils acrylics watercolors all kinds of fun stuff it's going to be it's going to be amazing if you haven't um, seen my simple approach, you're missing out. My approach to painting is too, too, too simple. This looks crazy. I love that. It has to. It has to look crazy. If it does not look crazy, I'm not doing my job. So there it is, my friends. Give it some space. Boom. There are my flowers. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. And... Uh, I'm going to be uh, sending those messages out. Stay well, please. Make sure to take care of yourself, take care of your family during this quarantine time. And uh, much love, okay? Take care. <laughs> Crazy does rock. <laughs> Thank you so much, Robin. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.